My name is Jamil McLean. I'm a linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. Very cool. And so as an athlete and also as a male, I know that often we don't think about those two pieces when talking about domestic violence prevention. Um, but I wanted to you know, thank you and congratulate you for being a part of this. I think it's really important because we often consider domestic violence to be a women's issue. Yeah. Um, why do you think it's important as a male, but also as an athlete, um, to be able to be part of this, you know, walk this way, but also this movement to end domestic violence? You know, I think, I think it's an important subject or an important topic for men to really get more involved with because I, I, I've been reading this book called The Power of Man, you know, and, and within that it's talking about the masculinity that men withhold for themselves, for themselves, for their families, you know, how they affect the women that they're with and their children, you know. So in order to stop a problem, I believe you need to start with what is, what is a part of the source, you know. A man, a man should always be strong enough to stop or to not put his family in a situation where he can influence generations beyond him you know so this to me this is a very important subject because we get a chance to talk about the source and to me the source is the man because the man should be able to control the situation within it or how he controls itself so as you know um walk this way for this year is going to be at the italian embassy mm -hmm. and specifically the event is raising funds for men of code men of code is a program that becky's fund created and collaborated on with basically high school football athletes and their yeah. coaches. And we are so thrilled and excited to work with these young men because so many of them have not been given the opportunity to talk about this in a safe space. Yeah. And you know, our theme for the event tonight is talking about the language of love, but also asking men everywhere and basically our whole audience, our guests, to be aligned for the cause. Yeah. And I was thrilled obviously when I came into your home this evening to see this line here, which was a perfect <laughs> example of what we're trying to talk about. Yeah. Asking people to have the courage to speak out on an issue that's often not very popular. Yeah. Um, and so I wanted to ask you on, you know, your thoughts on, as an athlete often you have this opportunity with the media, with the capacity to be able to have a spotlight um, and exposure, bringing this exposure to the issue of domestic violence. And so I wanted to ask you your thoughts on that. And you know, how do you think that you can be a part of that to bring this issue out into the open? By bringing, the way to bring the, or my part of it, I feel like is, when the opportunity comes, when the opportunity presents itself, for me to stand my feet strong on the ground as a man and give an opinion to a public or to a person, to people that may look up to me, or a person that may want to know how I would respond in that situation. Sure. I have to be firm in my belief. Whatever my belief is, I have to be true to it. It's the only way people that only way that people will accept you at the end of the day, you know. So when you mentioned the lion, it just it was so true to me. Like this lion represents it represents masculinity. It represents security. It represents. Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get the word. You know, it's like it's like a lioness cub that just harps on to his family, and the only thing that this lion wants to do is protect. Sure. That's what men should represent within all of that. That's what we, or to me, that's what I feel that we should represent. So, how do I carry myself, and how do I feel like I can speak out by being who I am and being true to who I am, and and being honest with with everything. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much that you are, you know, participating as a line um, to end domestic violence. Thank you so much for your, you know, letting us into your home tonight and being able to talk openly about this issue. As you um, may know, you know, domestic violence affects one in three women and girls, and one in six men. So this is an issue that we need the support of our community to come together, unite, um, and be lines for the cause. So thank you. Exactly. Creating awareness is the best way to solve a problem. No, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you.